What's good, e-bike nation? There's a bunch of new e-bikes coming out for 2022. I'll tell you which ones to look out for next on Crisscross. Okay, e-bikers, so let's take a look at my list here. I got about 10 e-bikes or so that are coming out in 2022 that look really interesting and you may want to check out before you decide to buy anything. And uh, I'll put links to all these bikes in the description of the video. Uh, I think on a few of these, I'm an affiliate. So uh, definitely click on those if you uh, if you are in the market. So first up is the Velo Trick. This is a uh, city commuter e-bike that's coming from uh, Lime's founding hardware team, Lime, the uh, scooter company, I guess. And you can buy, you can uh, back them right now on Indiegogo. This is the first of two e-bikes for on Indiegogo coming out for next year that I'm going to show you today. We can do a quick video here of the uh, Velo Trick. It's a really nice looking e-bike. Um, great looking design. Eighty mile range. It's not bad. Very modern looking. It's like a great commuter bike. If we look at the specs on this thing, it comes in some great colors. You got this yellow, this kind of indigo blue, gray, black, I guess. It's got a 692 watt power battery. It's about 14 amp hours, 80 mile range, 500 watt motor, 65 newton meters of torque, suspension fork. It's key on those uh, bumpy roads, uh, ergonomic seat and handlebar, integrated lights, and three levels of pedal assist. I'm not sure. I can't tell if there's a throttle on there. There may not be a throttle, but um, even if there isn't, it's a nice looking e-bike. Integrated batteries, you can see there. Really nice looking display. So that's coming out in 2022. Uh, here are some more of the specs. It's gonna have a three amp charger, which is nice. It's for rider heights, five, four to six, four. Uh, okay, there's a thumb throttle on the bike. That's good. And 26 inch by 2.5 uh, puncture resistant tires on there. So if we go to uh, Indiegogo, let's see how much it's uh, going for. <clears throat> Uh, $14.99. So that's a really good price for a bike like this. And, uh, you know, with these Indiegogo campaigns, these are new bikes. So you're buying something new. It's not quite proven yet, but uh, if you get it early, you can get a really good discount on the uh, Velo Trick. All right, let's close that one down and we'll go to our next one. This is the one I'm most excited about um, the Rip Racer from Juiced. So this is a. Um, Kind of a BMX style uh, fast e-bike. And uh, the thing with Juice is they have like a race feature that you can unlock on their e-bikes that goes really fast. Um, this comes in two versions. You can buy the class two version, which is up to 20 miles an hour, or the class three version, which is up to 28 miles an hour. Uh, that will cost you $15.99 right now for the uh, class two, uh, three version. And these are shipping in uh, March and, and April of next year. Um, up to 55 miles in terms of the range. There's no uh, front suspension on these, so there are kind of a, it's a hard tail bike front and back. Uh, you can see the battery there is a 52 volts, 15 amp hour battery. And uh, a really cool looking, uh, you know, BMX style e-bike. I think the market's been waiting for something like this. And I'm pretty excited about this one. 750 watt hub motor, uh, twist throttle, it's got uh, the 52 volt, uh, 15 amp hour battery, uh, LCD display, bright headlight, integrated tail light. Definitely want that. I love the look without the fenders. It's just a pretty badass looking bike that uh, is coming out next year. I'm thinking about picking up one of these, but uh, we'll see. But that's coming down the pikes. That's the uh, Juice to Rip Racer. Comes in some great colors. Get the blue there. The uh, what is this? Uh, I'm not sure what color it is. Like a lime green, maybe. And then you got like this teal one and then black. 
I really like the blue. Uh, that's a pretty nice, uh, nice looking e-bike. It stands out. It uh, looks great. And uh, it's got fat knobby tires and it's 20 by four inch tires. So pretty, uh, pretty great looking e-bike. Fitz Rider's uh, five foot six three. So if you're on the shorter side, uh, I think this is a good, uh, a good bike, bike too. If you want the, uh, you know, the speed version or the, uh, the more tame version, it's a really cool looking bike that's coming out from Deuce. Next up, something really interesting as well. This is the Cy Rusher Komoda. Now, what's interesting about this one is that it's the first step-through model I've seen that has full suspension. That's right. Um, you haven't seen this one before, I don't think, in the market. It's a pretty badass-looking e-bike uh, called a Komoda. Um, it's got a 50-mile range, 26 miles per hour top speed, 750-watt, and it's got a front motorcycle fork. So it kind of looks uh, more beefier and, and uh, uh, than a typical e-bike. You can see the four, uh, front forks there, motorcycle style. It's got an integrated battery in there, colorful rims, and uh, full suspension. So, you know, just look at this thing. I mean, it's a it's a really cool looking bike. You see the battery here, uh, color rims. Here's the uh, little uh, mid, the midpoint uh, suspension here, uh, right underneath the seat. And uh, it looks like a very accessible e-bike and uh, something that uh, I would love to own as well. Um, really, really good, uh, good looking e-bike. Now, the one thing, it's got 80 newton meters of torque. The one thing I don't like about it is the battery size. So to me, this bike should have like at least a 15 amp hour battery. I mean, you know, uh, it looks kind of heavy. Um, and 12.8, that's uh, kind of low on the low side, right? I, you know, like, to me, you know, it's sort of the, the standard uh, is now, you know, about 14 amp hours for, you know, most e-bikes. Uh, and uh, I'm a little disappointed at the... Uh, the battery size here. I thought they could have gone a little bit bigger for a bike of this size and for what it's, you know, intended for. I mean, it looks fat. It looks like you want to go fast on it. And, uh, I do love this color though. I mean, the, the, even the orange and the, uh, the blue here, I mean, uh, wow, it's just a pretty nice looking e-bike. You got gray and white and the other options. Cy Rusher makes the most colorful e-bikes in the industry. And, uh, this is definitely one of their, uh, you know, one of their best, in my opinion, in terms of design. And I uh, really love the looks of this uh, Cy Rusher Komoda. Um, it's for rider height 5162. Uh, let's see here. Does it give us the weight of the bike? Dimensions. Here we go. Uh, 66 pounds. So it's not too bad. It's about the same weight of just a couple more pounds than the electric XP. So, um, you know, 12.8, they say 50 mile range, uh, maybe. Um, but again, I just wish the battery was a little bit bigger, especially for the price point, which is, I think it's like 2,200 bucks. Um, let's see here if we order it. Yeah, it's 2199 right now. Um, I'm recording this in uh, mid-December. Um, so, you know, for that price, I want a bit of a bigger battery. That's my only complaint on this e-bike. But a uh, really good looking e-bike. That's the uh, Cy Rusher Komodo. All right. This is probably the most expensive e-bike on the list. Uh, the Van Move V. Um, they announced this back in September, I believe. It's coming out in 2022. Uh, this is kind of the Tesla of e-bikes, if you will, in my opinion. It's the most modern looking e-bike you're ever going to see at this point. And right now you can join the wait list for 20 bucks and reserve it. But uh, expected price point is going to be thirty five ninety eight from Van Moof, which I think is a Dutch company. Uh, I mean, look at this thing. It's got first of all, it's got full suspension um, on the front fork here, and then back here. Uh, it's going to feel uh, featuring two wheel two wheel drive um, as well. So it's got two motors as well, dual motors, dual suspension, and just a really fascinating futuristic look um, to it. It's going to go faster than ever, they say, up to 31 miles an hour. Uh, that's awesome. Full suspension, thick tires, it says. It's going to have a uh, kick lock and theft defense in it with turbo boost. I mean, wow. 
let's go through some of the pictures here. I mean, look at this integrated headlight there. I mean, this is a gorgeous looking e-bike. You've got the, uh, looks like a, a tail light integrated into the uh, C post. That's futuristic. Very simplistic, minimal look, but also a very, uh, you know, looks fast. It looks cool. Uh, it's got a 700 watt internal uh, battery. Dual motor configuration, as I said, up to 100, up to 1,000 kilowatts, depending on configuration, up to 31 miles an hour. Brighter height, it's meant for 5.5 five to 6.8, so it's on the taller side. Uh, they're looking for taller riders on this one. So if you're five foot two, probably not the bike for you. It's not a step through, so uh, there is that uh, aspect to it. You can go watch the reveal event on YouTube uh, if you want to learn more. But um, the Van Move V is something that uh, I'm really excited about, and from an e bike standpoint, and um, thinking seriously about, about, about buying this one too. So, uh, again, it's coming sometime next year. So, we'll have to look out for that. All right. Himaway has got three new e bikes coming. Uh, if you haven't seen this yet, they just announced it uh, right before uh, Thanksgiving. They've got the Zebra, the Big Dog, and the Cobra Electric Mountain Bike. These are all new models from Himaway, which previously just had, I think, the Escape and the, the Cruiser. So they basically have doubled their, uh, their model lineup here. Um, the Zebra is a premium all-terrain e-bike. Uh, it's kind of a blend of a mountain and urban cruiser, they say. Uh, the Big Dog is a cargo electric bike um, with the um, uh, mag wheel tires there. Pretty nice touch. And the Cobra is the electric mountain bike. Now, they say electric mountain bike, but that bike weighs 88 pounds. And uh, I think all these e-bikes um, weigh in the 80s, uh, all these new e-bikes. So Himaway is going heavier on the heavier side here. So you may want to keep that in mind. Um, I, you know, we do need more lightweight e-bikes. It looks like Velo Trick. Um, and uh, the last one I'm going to show you are, are going towards that. So, uh, you know, manufacturers need to make lightweight e-bikes because not everyone likes these heavy e-bikes like the ones that Himaway is putting out now. These are cool looking bikes, but again, even for, for myself, I'm six foot, 175 pounds. I don't need an 80, 90 pound e-bike. I mean, that's, that's a lot of weight to, to lug around. And um, I, I'm gravitating toward more of the, you know, 60 ish, 65, 70 pounds on the, on the, uh, on the max side there in terms of the bikes I like to ride. Um, it just makes it easier to, you know, push them around you know, when, you, when you're off the bike and, you know, on your racks, things like that. You can need a pretty beefy rack to carry these bikes on your car if you do have that. So uh, just keep that in mind. Uh, if we look at the Zebra, let's take a quick peek at uh, some of the specs on this one. 1899 right now. Comes in black and gray, looks like. Seven hundred fifty watt. These are all, these all have seven hundred fifty watt motors. Uh, these are twenty amp hour batteries. So awesome job on the battery size there. Um, now, if you look at this compared to the uh, the Cyrusher, right? Um, this has a twenty amp hour battery, almost double of what Cyrusher has for basically a lower the price. So I guess with Cyrusher, they, they you're buying more of a brand there and uh, uh, color scheme because. I mean, uh, in terms of the value, this is a better value than the Cyrusher, of course, uh, eighteen ninety nine compared to twenty one ninety nine with a, a massive battery. It's going to take you eighty miles. It's got a seven speed uh, gear shift on there, uh, capacity. So these are four hundred pound payload capacity. So if you're on the heavier side, definitely look at these new Hemi ways because they're going to fit you pretty well, support your weight. And, uh, and get you going. Um, and even with that 20 amp hour battery, you're going to go faster and farther than you ever have uh, with a bike like this. Here's the uh, battery from uh, Samsung. And they're calling these quaternary batteries. Just, I guess a little bit different um, uh, design or manufacturer. Upgraded gear hub motor, 86 Newton meters of torque. Got to have that torque on these uh, big e-bikes. Looks like a nice uh, uh, headlight here. It's got 20% brighter than your L than LED lights. Visibility is improved. Guarantee you safety at night. Here's your twist throttle, front fork, and uh, this bike weighs 79 pounds. So 
yeah, it's uh, it's getting up there as far as uh, weed goes. Twenty six by four tended tires. Um, pretty good looking bike, uh, the Zebra. Then they've got the um, let's see here. Let's look at the big dog. It's their cargo e bike. Uh, I love these mag wheels. Some you know, there's a handful of e bikes that come with these mag wheels. I think friend has them. Cy Rusher has a version, but um, this is that kind of the same frame of the Zebra, just in a step through with a little bit different uh, rack on the back. And I think you can get two racks on these <clears throat> on the back for extra coverage. Um, <clears throat> love the little BMX style handlebar up there versus those um, fold down ones that I kind of hate. Again, 20 amp hour battery. Same kind of specs as the Zebra, 80 miles per charge is their um, <clears throat> estimate range for pounds payload capacity. Comes in night and day colors. Oh, that's night and day in terms of just the uh, the lighting. So yeah, here's the different racks you can order. One's more of a longer rack, as you can see there. Batteries underneath, integrated underneath, that's nice. And then the Cobra, which is their uh, mountain bike, actually comes in two models. Comes in the Cobra and the Cobra Pro. Uh, the Cobra is $22.99. That's got a 20 amp hour battery again, 750 watt motor. I think the Cobra Pro is a bigger motor. And there's a soft tail as well. So uh, dual suspension. Uh, thousand watt motor. It's a mid drive motor um, uh, for thirty nine ninety nine. So four thousand uh, bucks. And this bike weighs. I think it's their heaviest one. This bike weighs eighty eight pounds. So uh, definitely on the heavier side. Uh, the heaviest bike I've ridden so far is the E cells, which I think was like ninety five pounds, and that was a that was way too much bike for me, uh, very heavy, um, almost like a motorcycle type. So uh, once you start getting up towards the 90 pound range, I mean, you know, uh, you, need, you need some serious uh, stamina to hold that bike up. Um, but uh, it's definitely a cool looking e-bike um, on, on that side of things. And, you know, I, I applaud him away for the massive battery here. Um, I think every e-bike manufacturer needs to be up, upping their battery ranges to avoid that range anxiety. I've got, I'm working on a bike now, putting on a uh, additional 20 amp hour battery to my uh, Espen Nesta. And um, the original battery on there is just, not, it's not big enough to, uh, you know, for that, from, the, from a range perspective. So um, I don't have to do that to all my e-bikes, right? I want big batteries from the start. I'm willing to pay for those. I realize I want to keep costs down, but you know, like the Cy Rusher, I mean, that thing's got to have a bigger battery, in my opinion, um, if they want to sell more of those. So, all right. Uh, last but not least, oh, we have two more, a couple more bikes for you, actually. So uh, I'll close out Hemiway here. We'll look at Be Cool. They uh, announced a bunch of new bikes as well. Uh, it looks like they're using a similar frame as Hemiway is. So this is the B Pathfinder. It's kind of, it looks like uh, kind of the zebra uh, from the Hemiway standpoint. Uh, this one has a 20 amp hour battery as well, 26 by four tires. Um, the range on this one says 40 to 65 miles <clears throat> compared to the 80 estimate on the uh, Himaway. So uh, I'm not sure what the differences are. 751 motor, of course, uh, dual hydraulic disc brakes. Get a look at the uh, B Pathfinder there. So B has their original bikes, the Adventure, um, which uh, has a 21 amp hour battery. So they've been on the 20 amp hour game for a while now. So it's good to see it's, this one's going to have a color display. It's going to have a nice integrated rear uh, battery fork. You got disc brakes. It's going to have a three amp charger. Nothing on that because you get that. Those 20 amp battery is going to take a long time to charge, probably like eight hours or so. And uh, let's see the specs on this one. <clears throat> it's coming down here. So we can find the, uh, the weight of this bike. 
size and fit. Okay. Uh, stand of right 21. Total weight 81 pounds. That's not too bad. Um, I think the, was the zebra is 79 pounds, I think it was. So uh, there you go. That's the uh, B Pathfinder. Uh, the other B, B bike they came out with, I thought was interesting, was the Challenger here. This is a very motorcycle, motorcycle looking e bike um, with a. I'm guessing this is the battery up here in this uh, kind of faux gas tank. Uh, but uh, cool looking bike. I think um, I'm not crazy about the colors on this one. They got red and black, uh, especially the black here. I don't think they're red. Gas can really goes with this. I'd rather just see it all black. But uh, interesting looking bike, uh, not something I'm itch that interested in buying, but um, it is a kind of a cool looking e-bike, 750 watt. Uh, oh, built in 30 amp hour battery. Wow, that is massive. That's got to be the biggest default battery in any e-bike I've seen so far in the last year. Only $23.99. I mean, that's a uh, amazing price uh, scheduled to ship in January, it says here. That is a massive battery. Wow. Um, it doesn't say uh, what type of uh, battery it is, but um, yeah, I don't think they're Samsung batteries on, on, on these on these e bikes. <clears throat> <clears throat> Here's some of the specs on that headlights bright enough to you see the road. Looks like a big headlight. Um, you got signal lights on this one. Integrated taillight with the signals. Looks like you got a twist throttle there. Seven speed Shimano shifter. Love the seat, wider bike seat with uh, kind of a ridge in the back that um, won't, won't make you slide off. Uh, cadence sensor and uh, 20, 24 by four uh, tires on there. So not 24 by six, 24 by four on the, uh, the B Challenger. Here's some of the uh, specs on this. It says uh, height ranges from 5.2 to 6.5. Pretty interesting looking bike, though, in terms of, you know, uh, just design-wise, right? You don't see much of this. I would maybe look at the, compare this to the, uh, the Saunders Mad Mods. Um, and uh, as far as just design goes, uh, very interesting. I think they're maybe targeting that, um, that user base there. All right, last but not least, we have the uh, Ertopia Carbon Fiber E-Bike. Again, this is a Indiegogo campaign. Uh, this is a really futuristic design as well. Uh, again, light white, lightweight electric bike, uh, similar to the uh, Velo Trick. Um, from frame to handlebar, our extended light e-bike is designed for urbanites. You can see a nice integrated uh, light into the... Uh, the handlebar stem, just a clean looking design. I mean, look at this. This is just beautiful uh, as far as design goes. It's going to have an app connected to it. So track it down your e-bike's GPS location, exercise records, health data, as well as other information. And let's take a look at the campaign on Indiegogo. All right, so it's selling for, let's see here. Oh, uh, $19.99. So that's half off. So it's going to cost about four grand uh, after it um, after it ships and it's out there. Uh, so interesting, um, interesting stuff there. Uh, I'm not sure what the specs are on this thing. Let's see. We can watch this here. I have three words for you. Pure carbon fiber. It's crazy light. The frame, the fork, the handlebars, even the seat post, all carbon fiber. <laughs> hey, Dave. This is my best friend, Dave. We're not best friends. We work together and move next door to each other. No, you move next door to me. We even bike in together every morning. All right, enough of that. Um, here's the FAQ. It says uh, they have warehouses in USA, Germany, and Europe, and Canada. So uh, um, 
Features of the bike is going to have smart bar tech incorporating AI's voice control, AI voice control, fingerprint unlock, um, dot matrix display, built-in Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, 4G modules, customized rear drive motor, hydraulic brakes, anti-theft system, and low maintenance carbon uh, belt. So it looks like it's a single speed uh, belt drive. The motor is going to have 35 to 40 newton meters of torque. So this is not a speed demon. Um, and the motor is going to be 250 watt, it says. So the uh, estimated traveling distance in eco mode, 80 miles, according to the uh, FAQ here. So that's the uh, Ertopia that's coming out next year. And uh, that's a look at all the cool new e-bikes coming to the market in 2022. Hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Click that like button, hit the subscribe for uh, more e-bikes coming to you in uh, 2022 and beyond. So uh, thanks for watching. I'm Chris Cross. Catch you later.